Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. As the world and culture convulse around us, many men of goodwill are perplexed, not knowing exactly how we got where we are right now, not understanding what happened, who the players were, and what drove civilization to the precipice. The reason so few people understand so little of all of this is an issue that has a couple of different dynamics at play. First, when civilization was still, well, civilized, people naturally just went about their usual day-to-day -day lives because the impact of those bent on destroying the world wasn't yet felt in its full fury. So it was understandable that if you don't see a threat, you don't really normally respond to it. Second, the lack of seeing a threat doesn't mean there isn't one. It just means a person is not clued in enough to its reality. Life was good, moving along nicely, so why go actively looking for bad stuff? Third, that second point bespeaks a lack of understanding of how the world works, especially the spiritual world. St. Peter warns us to be on the lookout for the devil who prowls about like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Blissful ignorance leads to destruction. It's just that simple. The world is full of dangers, seen and unseen, and the cold reality is the unseen are the most dangerous because those are the ones that make you have your guard down. A lack of vigilance, which goes back to a lack of knowledge, opens the gates for the invaders. For more than 15 years, Church Milton has been constantly preaching this message, that knowledge is absolutely necessary, echoing again and again what the Lord God says in the Old Testament, my people perish for lack of knowledge. The devil and angel on the shoulder concept is accurate because all of humanity is in a spiritual war, collectively as well as individually, and unless God permits some individual case of demonic influence, the normal route to destroy society is for the demonic to gain control over the intellects of those who open themselves up to that control. The great evils we see visited on our families these days first began as a single idea, a demonically inspired idea certainly, but an idea nonetheless in some individual's mind. From there it grew, it attracted followers and adherents, it was pushed wherever an appropriate incubator could be developed and eventually flourished into a movement and then became overwhelming to the point that the demonically inspired idea became the norm and to resist it is seen as evil. Here at Church Militant, we have traced the intellectual development of many of these actual evils and produced all kinds of programming about them to help you understand how all this current state of affairs got to where it is right now. While it's always a spiritual war, it does play out in the material world through people, places, events, and so forth. Ideas like contraception, homosexuality, global warming, multinational organizations, social justice, Freemasonry, political usurpation, philosophical rebellion, all of these were and are used to destroy souls. But they all began somewhere, some place in our temporal human history where movements are born. And understanding this is absolutely key having the knowledge and information arms you to be able to fight back. It was a perversion of knowledge that got the world to where it is today. And it will be a proper understanding of how the world works, how it was created to work, that will begin to correct it. Certainly not overnight, but you gotta start somewhere. We humans are spiritual beings in a material existence, and both aspects of our existence must be engaged. It's not enough to just pray. That leads to the heresy of quietism, sitting back and just letting God tend to affairs as though we have no responsibility to our neighbor. The spiritual works of mercy demanded of us are in fact carried out in time and space. Instruct the ignorant, admonish the sinner, and so forth. How can a person do these things, which salvation depends on, if they don't know and understand sufficiently to engage with their neighbors? Of course you pray for your neighbors, but if that's all you do is just pray when you are capable of doing more, 
then you cannot claim to actually love your neighbor. Evil and wicked men throughout history have been <clears throat> concerned enough about their neighbors to make their life's work the destruction of their neighbor. And yet here we have hundreds of millions of supposed Catholics who walk away from that kind of commitment, and they do it every day. We know it takes a massive commitment of just time alone to go back and learn what we were never told, what we were blissful to not know anything about. That's why Church Militant developed and produced the programming we have. On our homepage, if you simply go to the drop-down menu and hover over the video tab, then go down to All Shows, click on that, and then you'll see our complete library of almost everything we have ever produced. The one we'd like to direct your attention to today is right there, FBI, Faith-Based Investigations. Click on that and multiple episodes will pop up. As we said, this is a catalog of all sorts of movements used by the demonic in spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare aimed at destroying your souls and the souls of those you love. And it's all right there. Global warming unmasked, for example. For this particular episode, Church Milton invested more than 700 man hours, extensive research, interviews, etc. It's well worth the watch. It was Pachamama before Pachamama and helps you understand the how and why of the entire environmentalist movement. Here's another fun one. The extinction of the human species may not only be inevitable, but a good thing. These are the leading thought people in this movement, folks. These aren't like wackos hanging out you know, at the bar at three o'clock in the morning trying to explain how they're falling in their gin and tonic, how the world works. These people are well-respected, they are published, they have all kinds of acclaim, honors wherever they go, they win Nobel Prizes, they get money, they get your tax money to fund this ridiculous stuff. This is what the whole global warming crowd is about. Likewise, the investigation into homosexuality, even down to the origin of the actual word homosexuality and its incredible propaganda value in leading unsuspecting people to believe that there is actually an alternative sexuality. There isn't. There is one sexuality and then multiple perversions of that single sexuality. But twisting intellects is the first action in spiritual warfare. Ever wonder what Freemasonry is precisely, how it works specifically, its particular goals, its dangers to the Catholic Church? Our investigation into Freemasonry is another tour de force developed specifically so you don't have to spend the hundreds of hours chasing all of this down. Likewise, the social justice movement within the Catholic Church was actually the hardcore beginnings of the Marxist infiltration into the laity. Our investigation into Saul Alinsky and the bishops lays it all out quite clearly, how it all began under the pretense of helping the poor. Concocted, of course, by Saul Alinsky, it would have been impossible to advance without the help of already corrupt clergy, but the clergy had a gullible audience over the decades, the so-called social justice movement has become a replacement for actual theology, passing itself off as love of neighbor, when in reality it is hatred of neighbor. And once it had established a massive foothold within the church, it produced a counterfeit Catholicism, which Obama, America's first Marxist president, used to his advantage to lock down a majority of the Catholic vote in 2008. In our investigation, Obama's counterfeit Catholics, Church Militant delves into the entire network of Catholic heretics and American traitors who combined their efforts to bring about what we are now seeing, the destruction of faith and country. Where are the bishops? Here are some quotes. The Archbishop of Chicago, Cardinal Francis George said, one cannot favor the legal status quo on abortion and also be working for the common good. That's very true. You can't. Then why aren't you excommunicating these people? Why are they being allowed to call themselves Catholic? You're a cardinal in the church. Kick them out. Another high-ranking notable cleric in the church, 
Archbishop Charles Chaput of Denver said specifically of Catholics in Alliance for the Common Good, they do a disservice to the church. I'm sure those words wounded them deeply. <laughs> Excommunicate them. <laughs> words, as we've seen for the past 45 years, mean absolutely nothing if you're not going to back them up. What's needed is action. That's the end of the story. Absolutely the end of the story. Sound familiar? Other FBI's you will find cover topics of how the laity was completely duped by treacherous clergy who occupied key posts in the church and used those positions to institute moral anarchy, like Father Theodore Hesburgh, president of Notre Dame for decades, who used the leading Catholic institution to warp Catholic education, even cooperating with Planned Parenthood. The contraception deception FBI paired with the Rockefeller Foundation investigation, both together bring home vividly how average Catholics have been, and this is key, continue to be betrayed by their leaders. We could go on and on about all of these investigations, which are really just 60,000 foot overviews designed to help you understand all the madness going on now in the church and by extension the world. Ideas have consequences. That's the entire point of an idea, to leave the mind and become alive in the world for good or for bad. Given all this, we'd like to ask you to sign up and become a premium member here at Church Militant so you can gain access to all of this and much more. That's just a small sampling of our FBI programs, but there's literally thousands of hours of research for you with those, helping you understand and bring into focus the reality of this crisis, the depth of the philosophical swamp we are in right now. But all of this isn't meant to be frightening to you, although there is a dimension of it being frightening. It's meant instead to awaken your intellects so as to inspire you to become involved, active participants in fighting against this tsunami of evil in your own sphere. Church Militant Premium Membership is a paltry 10 bucks a month. That's an amount we have never increased since we first started our offerings. And your premium status not only gains you access to the FBI's category, but dozens of other programs, each program with multiple episodes, some of them dozens, hundreds and hundreds of episodes in fact, the most comprehensive video library of hard-hitting, straight-up, authentic Catholic material on the planet bar none. Church Militant was doing this long before anyone else in the Catholic world and is still the leader today. No one in the Catholic world does what we do, and your $10 monthly premium subscription allows us to keep doing what we do. Even programming we provide to you for free, like this Vortex, for example, or Catholic Info Hour, it's not free for us. It costs a huge amount of money to run this type of apostolate because media is expensive just by its very nature. So when you become a premium member, you aren't just gaining access to the premium channel, you're also supporting all the work we do here, from providing our morning and evening prayer from our chapel via live stream to all of the other program we provide at no cost. So please consider signing up today, right now, by just clicking on that provided link and becoming a premium member. You not only support our work, but you engage with us precisely how we want to be engaged within the material world by learning so you can in turn inform others and fight in the spiritual war. So thank you in advance for signing up. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.